here's what it shows. Basically nothing other than maybe a few light little flurries, so really nothing to write home about, and that goes all, all the way through the next 24-hour period. There will be some lake effect off the eastern shore of Lake Michigan. It's going on right now. We zip on off to upstate New York, where Watertown and points north still getting a little bit of lake effect. Buffalo, at least the area that's been really, really hard hit, which is south of the city of Buffalo, is getting a bit of a break, but it is expected to rev back up again tonight for possibly another foot of snow. It just doesn't stop there. Harry Roseanne. Well, that's kind of a cool little uh, lesson on the weather there yeah. over at Naperville that's Central. Awesome. Mary Kay and I better watch out. They're up and coming oh. meteorologists, you know? <laughs> but it is so cool. It makes me so happy to see people learning about the weather. It impacts all of us on such a daily basis. I mean, if you think about it, look what's happening in upstate New York, Harry and Roseanne. This it is, is absolutely outstanding. Standingly crazy. I haven't seen anything like this. We're talking about five feet plus in Lancaster, Gardenville, and West Seneca. And that's really uh, as of last night. So I'm getting snowfall totals from about 12, 15 hours ago is the most recent. And so you can probably tack an additional foot onto that. And this is what they expect. A little bit of regular system snow today. And then that lake effect kicks right back in and just keeps going over the course of the day uh, tomorrow tomorrow and into Friday. So uh, we are talking about in excess likely of about seven and a half feet of snow or more before it's all said and done. Looking at the radar picture across it, nothing really going on here. Um, temperatures right now are at 33 degrees at Midway, 29 for O'Hare, 28 degrees for Waukegan, about 28 to Cal, 30 for Aurora and for Joliet. But it feels colder because when you take into account the wind, of course, it takes it down to a feels like temperature in the teens from O'Hare to Waukegan, McHenry down to Ottawa. Feels like the 20 around Midway and Joliet, Kankakee, Rensselaer. So it's a little better than yesterday, but it's not great. Most of the heavier snow is now up, uh, lifted up into Michigan and to the east. We have a few flurries potentially through the day today, but that's about it. We were expecting this much in the way of snow, but it didn't really come to fr uh, fruition because there was so much dry air in place over Chicagoland, and now just a few flurries will linger. The dry air managed to kind of eat away at the moisture as it attempted to move in this morning, but um, unfortunately the cold is still pretty locked in place. It's better than yesterday. High expected of right around 30 today. 55 Little Rock, so warming up there. Just 33 degrees in Cleveland, 31 degrees in New York City, and only 66 in Miami. That sounds pretty good to us, but it's cold for them. 30 are high. We had that little bit of morning snow. Uh, we did not see as much as an inch, but we still have the potential for a few little flurries out there, and just want you to keep that in mind. Um, we kind of dodged a bullet because the dry air was in place. We didn't get a whole lot this morning during the commute. Thursday and Friday in the 20s, Saturday and Sunday in the 40s. That is the good thing, and the most interesting thing I have heard all day is that at the Buffalo Bills Stadium there is about four feet of snow that was as of last night mm. they're actually oh. in a conference call with the Jets to try to figure out what to do because the game on Sunday is in Buffalo oh my goodness you know I spent all the better part of yesterday complaining about our weather I'm just Could gonna shut worse, up now it? yeah <laughs> it's also cold That's there crazy right. Thank you, Megan. Okay. Well, a look at who made the cover of People's Sexiest Man Alive. Plus, ready, set, stuff. We're checking in with the Butterball Turkey Talk Line experts. Oh, come on. That's not real. <laughs> Was that a real turkey? I don't look like that. And that's our news at 11.